everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, I'm going to put a little video in there. Jim was busy again today, so he made a little video for me for you to share, for me to share with you. And what it was is he had a floor that was at the apartment house that needed to be sanded, and he was able to get the sander this weekend. He tried yesterday, but the, they were both out, so he couldn't. So today he called and they had it. So he went and picked it up and he worked on the floor and then he laid down some linoleum and he still got to go back because he still got some other um, little cuttings and got to cut it put the quarter round and the down quarter right and round the down on the edges. Oh, excuse me. I just had a piece of cheese in case you wonder. <laughs> in case you wonder, I don't know. Um, I have talked about. Well, I wanted to put a little. More, the rest of my coffee in my coffee. Here, you want to take the container because it will need. I I make it in the container because it foams up too much to be in the cup and it would be all over the place. But anyways, um, what was I just saying? Uh, you were talking about the floor. The floor. I know, but I was going to say something and else. I don't know what else. I don't know. Oh man, all it took was poor coffee. <laughs> It's all it took and I just wanted to I wanted to finish pouring it in there and it's like it looks really good see it you can see the foam I'm gonna have a sip have a sip well I think <laughs> I've been watching a lot of videos today I've been trying to catch up oh my goodness I says that with losing Tuesday I'm way behind I'm like five videos behind on some people it's like oh my goodness so so this whole day has been spent listening to videos, except for the little bit that I did have to go teach church school today. One child showed up, so I did have to go. It wasn't my child, so it was the other little girl that hardly ever comes. Well, she came today, and so I went in and we we um, went through the book quite fast. We're already into Lent, Lent and stuff, and it was like, well, we're we're probably it's probably farther than we needed to go but we went there anyways and she was enjoying it and then I was gonna have her draw a, a stained glass window because they like to do a little bit of art so we were gonna talk about stained glass windows and different scenes she had to put a um, the act, act of contrition something that was in the act of contrition that would represent on that window so that's what, so she was putting an angel there is what she wanted to put in the window. So that's what she was putting. And um, I was talking about the floor. There was something else I wanted to say. Oh my goodness. You know, different ones have told me to write down stuff. I do write down stuff and then I can't find the notebook. I have about five notebooks floating around. I have to remember, did I write it on the book with the white pages or the one with the yellowish pages? And I don't and remember. Which yellowish? And which yellowish book, oh, I know. White? Because and and was it on the and I, they're all comp, they're all um, books that you would use for stenography, so if you flip the page one way you're going to find it. If you flip the page the other way you're not going to find it. So it's it's kind of confusing. It should be a regular book. I did do um, the, what I've spent. Oh my nose itches. Oh my stars. I did do my spending. You're gonna, he knows what I'm going to talk about. I did do. The month of January. January was a very bad month. Very bad. It's because we had taxes in it. The water bill came for all the places, for all three places, mine and the two houses. And the electric bills came and it was a big, it was really a big amount. Let's hope that February is better. Although February started out kind of with a bang because we're doing that darn floor. So that's going to cost a bit. And once the floor is done, then I can put the house on the market. A lot of you have also mentioned that you wanted to hear me play the guitar. You know, I played guitar for little children. Little children love it. They can, don't care if you sing off key, play off key. If you play wrong notes, they don't care. Um, I'm afraid to do it for you because there's too many out there that really can play really good. I'm just 
and a real amateur, real amateur. I'm a wannabe. I want to be this and I want to be that. I have, I've always been interested in music. I do play the flutophone now and then, but it's only little stuff. And I can play a snake dance. And that was all made up, so I don't know. I couldn't play it for you. And when I was playing on the piano one time, I was making up a song, and my father goes, Oh, my goodness, that's the funeral march song. And I thought, the funeral march song? He says, Yeah, when he was in Sicily, they would climb the tower. There was a tower in the town, and then the band would come marching through, and they would play this song that I was playing on the piano. I had never heard it before and he would be in the bell tower because he was the youngest child that year and he remembers it very well that he got to go up in the tower because the youngest child of the village got to go up in the tower and ring the bell and he happened to be the youngest child that time when the funeral procession was going by and he got to ring the bell in Sic this is in Sicily that he did this I had another one ask me if I spoke Italian I don't speak Italian I do understand some of the words when my mother and father would be talking, they would be talking in Italian, trying to make it so we didn't know what they were saying. Well, after a while, you get the gist of what they're saying because their hands talked a lot, and a lot of the words were repeat, repetitive. And you, and if you were bad that day, oh, you knew it was you. And we used to hear, I don't know what that means. It means, I think, this one there or that one there or something like that, and um, if you were the one that was naughty that day you knew you were that one and I remember my mother she would call my father um, a whole lit litany of words in Italian but she tried to say it in English one time and she said it just doesn't have the same effect the Italian word has a bigger effect that's like when I would call when I would get so frustrated I wasn't really angry I was just frustrated because you would I would have these teenage girls that would really push your patience and um, there would be a point where you, a lot of people would swear. I don't swear. I never have swear, sworn. I wasn't allowed to swear, so I just never did it. And I didn't do it even in my later years when I probably could have sworn. And so I would say, oh, mis de mamma mia, uh, what a de the dura. And that would be what I would say. And they'd think that I was saying something horrible. Oh, no, I was just saying, oh, my goodness. And I was saying that they were such a hard head. <laughs> Our days to kakutsa. What a days to kakutsa. Ay, ay, ay. And what a squash head. Or days to kapooch. Let's see, a cabbage head. And that's the stuff that we used to say. So it was really nothing bad, but it sounded bad. And, and, your, and your tone, the tone you would use at the time was like, it sounded bad. It just sounded like you were saying something really bad. I was never saying anything really bad. So that is my video for today. And I hope you stick around for the little bit of Jim's video at the end. It'll be in there. I'm going to put it in like right now. And then, oops, I almost talked. Right now. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to turn this on when I first started, when I first got here. This thing's not very quiet, so you be ready for some noise. Okay, and I got done all with all the sanding, all the vacuuming. That's what it looks like now. Well, got the uh, linoleum rolled out. Surprisingly, it looks a lot like the floor that was there. You can see from where this joint here is. This is the linoleum. And this is the, the original floor. That's the linoleum. Fits pretty good. It's a 12 by 15. I'm going to come back with a crowbar or a, with one of my bars, get my cord around off and get this tucked up a little closer to the wall pretty much fits right in here wall to wall take my metal strips off i'm gonna have to get or i might have at the house 
a strip for here at the doorway. And I think I can get all these strips off this other linoleum. I think I can get all of those back off. They are done with like a drywall screw. Hopefully they will come back out. I have to bring my screw gun over and, and try it. Well, that's what we have in here. It actually looks pretty decent. Uh, good thing that uh, we had this around. And I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.